Well, your home or car may be host to some uninvited guests right now. Yep, you know them, you love them, and perhaps you swatted a few of those pesky Miller moths already as they invade us once again looking for food. News 5's Acid Portillo is live from the Maine Natural History Museum in the Springs with more about how long they'll stick around and what we can do about it. Ashley. Yeah, Rob, so I am learning today that these Miller moths can squeeze into even the smallest of cracks possible. Earlier today, I was also driving my work to car this morning, <laughs> turned around, probably saw at least two or three Miller moths in the back seat, and others are telling me that despite having all of their windows and doors closed, these moths are still finding their way into people's homes. They're here and they're everywhere. I just know that there's a lot of them in my house. May and June is migrating Miller moth season in Colorado. I don't know if that's one flying around. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, good timing. <laughs> Carrie York is one of the owners at the Maine Natural History Museum. That's a bug museum. She said Miller moths travel from the east and migrate to the mountains to feed on flowers and nectar in spring. Lucky us on the front range, we are anywhere in the mountains, you're going to get more of the uh, of the moss. The infestation happens every year, but York considers this season a mild one. While these moths are a nuisance, they don't cause any harm. It's just part of nature. You kind of have to roll with it. They are definitely not attacking you, even though it feels like they're dive, dive bombing you at times. York said this migration only lasts a couple of weeks, but it's still annoying for many any like Kathy Remmer. I don't know how they get through the screen, but they do. And my cats love them. And that's their new play toy. A few things York says you can do is keep your outside lights off at night because moths are attracted to light. Also, close your curtains at night. Take a clear bowl with some soapy water in it, put a light above, and once those moths have soap on their wings, they won't be able to fly. You can also use a moth traps or repellent. Other than that, there's not much you can do. And while all of these Miller moths are searching for food here all across southern Colorado, they're also food themselves for other animals like bears, uh, birds, as well as bats. We're now reporting live in Colorado Springs. I'm Ashley Portillo for News 5.